There's lots of videos out there on how to create some cool text effects, but the majority of them are using Photoshop or Illustrator. Sometimes you can follow along using Affinity Designer, but since they're not the same apps and they don't quite work the same way, it can sometimes be difficult. So today let's go through four cool text effects that are really easy to make in Affinity Designer. All right, let's start with the first one, which is a simple kind of sliced effect. You see there's a lot of places and it's actually very easy to make. So we got our text here, just with whatever text you want to call it. Now that we have the knife tool, this actually becomes a lot easier to do. So just using the knife tool, actually, if we just cut across this like that, we can create this group of all these letters in this chopped effect. All we do now is grab the top of these and we'll group these ones together and we'll grab all the rest of the layers and group them as well. So now we've got two groups. We've got the top half and the bottom half. All we really do now is make sure that the top half is above the bottom half and we can either have the effect of moving this to the side like that but also if we open the effects we can actually give it an outer shadow so if we increase the radius of this increase the intensity and the offset we can actually make a nice chopped effect that you got right there let's move on to the next one now this one is actually using multiple strokes and you can see this in like a lot of designs and in magazines things like that but it's actually very easy to do in affinity designer so we've got our word here all we do again head over to the effects and what we're going to do is add an outline to this so if we create the first one leave it as black we've got our nice outline now if we hit this plus button right here we can add another outline so we'll change the color to this one to something like like an orange or something and we'll simply make this stroke bigger and we got another stroke if we add another one now this time what we'll do is we'll create a different color just so we can see what we're doing we'll increase the stroke size but this time what we'll do is we'll turn the opacity all the way down now you might be thinking but it makes no difference wait and see if we now create another outline now what we'll do it will up this opacity all the way back up and then we increase the size. So now you can see we've actually got a gap in this stroke. So it actually makes it look a little bit different. And no matter what color background we put on this, because we didn't use a color there, we can actually change the color of this background. And you can see that that stroke is completely transparent. We can leave it as white. So it's a really interesting and easy way to make a nice little stroke effect. All right, on to the next one. We've got a 3D text. This we've made a few times in the past and it can be quite difficult, but it's a really interesting thing that you can do with this this time. So what we've got is we've got our 3D text here. What we want to do is we want to duplicate this, which we'll do by hitting Control and J. And then what we want to do is move this slightly down and to the right. Now, usually if you've got snapping tools on, it can be a lot more difficult. So if we turn off snapping, now if we move this down just ever so slightly down and to the right, and now what we do is we hit Control and J, we can repeat all those duplications. As many times as you want, how many you duplicate will be how thick the actual text effect looks. Now, right at the bottom of this layer panel now, this was the first text that we created. So if we change this color to black, nothing really happens. But if we move this text all the way to the top, you can now see that we got our 3D text right at the top. And I think we'll do this the other way around. We'll make the top white and we'll make the rest of them black. So we can make that kind of 3D effect. Now what we do is just group all this together. We got ourselves some nice looking 3D text. If you really zoom in there, sometimes you can see the edges not being quite as defined as you want them to be. What you can do adding onto this is just add a slight outline to this and it just kind of rounds it off and gives it kind of like a, like a comic book sort of look to it. Now I did say there is something cool that you can do with this as well. You can actually create this in an isometric grid. So for example, if we turned on the isometric grid, so we got our 3D text there again. If we just fit this to the plane, and now what we do is the exact same thing. We duplicate this, and then we'll move it down slightly in the plane, very, very slightly. Hit Control and J, repeat all those actions, select all our text except the bottom one, change them to black, grab the bottom one, move it all the way to the top. And now we've got, if we hide our grid, a really cool text effect, which is isometric as well. And lastly, we'll make a reflection effect. So again, you can make this very easily in Affinity Designer as well. All we would do, duplicate this layer because we need a reflection of some kind. Right at the top, what we'll do is we'll flip this vertically and then we'll bring this further down and just kind of align it with the bottom. Now, I mean, you could just leave it like that. However, what's really good with this is we've got the transparency tool. So if we select that and just in this text, we can change how transparent we want this text to be. So we can create a gradient of transparency. In the top here, we can actually change how this gradient looks and we can even change the opacity of the very beginning as well. So we can make it like a very, very subtle mirror effect. And literally just like that, we have a really nice, really cool looking reflection. So if we wanted to make this kind of look a little bit more watery or anything like that, what we could actually do is selecting this reflection down here and just adding a simple mesh warp to it. We can just create some points here and then we can maybe shift these over to this side, create some points, shift all 
all of these to this side grab these ones shift them all this way kind of create like a like a more distorted look to it as well and again because affinity designer is amazing we can go back into this go to our transparency tool and just kind of readjust how much we want this to be visible so yeah there we go now a side note with this as well which actually is a really important sometimes the text effect that you want to achieve is actually easier if you get the right font but working only with the fonts that you have can sometimes make things a bit more difficult so before you do anything if you've got an idea of how you want something to look then definitely have a look at the different fonts that are available on things like google fonts or defont if you want to know how to install some of these fonts check out this video right at the top here just to help you out there you go that's four text effects in affinity designer that you can make pretty easily if there's any specific text effects that you want me to replicate then either let me know on social media or drop it in the comments below i'll do my best to either create a part two of this video or even do it as like a youtube short or something if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up hit subscribe for more videos like this if you haven't already make sure you check out this video right here and as always i've been brown bear thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one